Good morning, everyone. I'm Rohit Ashwar, and I'm a PhD student under the guidance of Professor Surinder Shah and Professor Maria Consta, and I'm at the Center for Advanced Construction Materials at UT Arlington. So the topic of my presentation today is highly dispersed carbon nanotube reinforced metacoil and cement mortars with enhanced load bearing capacity and energy absorption capability. So uh, in order to reduce the carbon dioxide emission, there has been several initiatives started by the federal government, which will prioritize the procurement of low carbon concrete in federal funded projects. A few possible solutions are the use of supplementary materials, geopolymers, and the incorporation of calcine clay, that is metacoelin. The incorporation of metacoelin in cement has several advantages. A few of them have been listed here. Metacoelin, as we all know, is highly reactive and leads to excellent early age strengths. It is sustainable and non-hazardous. It is simple in application. It leads to a post-structure refinement and ASR mitigation increases with improved chloride ingress resistance. On the left, we have a table which compares metacoelin and cement on different grounds. So uh, the practical calcination temperature for metacoelin is almost half of that of cement and the theoretical heat for production is also less, which means that the fuel consumption will be lowered. Carbon dioxide emission during production for metacoelin is almost one third of that of cement and it also has a higher manufacturing efficiency. A lot of research has been done on the incorporation of carbon nanotubes with unblended mortars and research studies have shown that uh, if we have well dispersed carbon nanotube in our cement mix, then the modulus of elasticity and other fracture properties show a drastic improvement, while there is a small increase in compressor strength which is observed. If we replace 10 to 20 percent of cement with metacoelin, then research has shown that there is a considerable increase in the compressor strength and modulus of elasticity. However, the flexural strength and flexural toughness does not experience that big gains. So a possible solution to achieve an overall mechanical performance will be to combine them together. However, very few research has been conducted and no clear trend has been observed. The benefit arising from the combined use of CNT and metacoelin uh, depends majorly on the content of CNT being used and the dispersion method being adopted. For our study, we have started our work with mortar specimens of water cement ratio or water binder ratio of 0.4 and the replacement percentage that we have adopted for our work is 20%. These values are based on the literature's recommendation. The medical and chem chemical composition for our work is shown in the table on the left and we are using standard sand, OPC type 1 and highly dispersed CNT solutions of concentration 0.1 weight percent. The highly dispersed solutions were obtained from already established methods from, from our lab group. The specimens which we'll be testing are plain mortar, mortar reinforced with carbon nanotubes, mortar with metacoelin, and to, uh, CNT and metacoelin together. The experimental program consists of uh, first observing the combined effect of carbon nanotube and metacoelin on the heat of hydration and then calculating the calcium hydroxide consumption at 28 days. Mechanical testing was conducted based on the fracture mechanics test on notch beam specimens uh, using linear elastic fracture mechanics and the specimen size was 4 by 4 by 16 centimeter. Compression testing was done as per the ASTM standard using the two halves of the prism obtained from fracture test. Here we have the calorie meter results uh, for OPC and uh, cement paste having 20% metacoelin. As we can see that the addition of metacoelin causes an acceleration in the hydration reaction. The addition of well dispersed carbon nanotubes leads to a slight acceleration and uh, another important thing here to uh, notice is all of the paste samples contain the same amount of SP. Metacoelin and CNT together have the fastest hydration reaction and also they have the higher heat flow. Calcium hydroxide content was calculated using TJ data on 28 days of hydration and we have considered the temperature range from 400 to 500 degrees Celsius. The calculated values are also listed in the table below and we can see that with the addition of metacoelin and uh, metacoelin plus CNT together, they provide a drastic reduction in the, uh, reduction in the calcium hydroxide content of up to 50% and it is mainly because of the pozzolanic reaction of metacoelin. 
The compressive strength results for 28 day show that the addition of metacoline increases the compressive strength by 21%, while the addition of CNTs causes a marginal improvement, which is expected. However, CNTs and metacoline together give the best compressive strength performance with an increase of 28% over that of plain mortar. Here we have the development of flexural strength with hydration days up to 28 days and the data points are from 3, 7 and 28 days. If we consider the data results at 28 days, we see that the addition of metacolin causes a rise of 25% in flexural strength while a drastic improvement is observed when we have highly dispersed carbon nanotubes in our system. The rise is almost 79%. But the combination of carbon nanotubes with metacolin has an even for higher rise of 88% in flexural strength. And it is mainly because of the crack bridging ability of well dispersed carbon nanotubes, which improves the load bearing capacity. If we look at the Young's modulus development, we again observe a similar trend with a very high rise for the combination of CNT and metacolin. Together, they can uh, have an increase of over 100% for the modulus as compared to the plain motor sample. Again, here we can see that the high rise observed for CNT and metacolin is mainly because of the CNTs, which alone can improve the Young's modulus by 85%. Here we have the 28 day load COMOD curve obtained from a fracture test, and the area under these curves were used to calculate the flexural toughness, which gives us an indication of the energy absorption capability of the specimens. As we can see, that the combination of CNT and metacolin leads to an increase of 130% in flexural toughness, while the addition of metacolin alone will just give an improvement of about 40%. One interesting thing here to notice is the post-peak load carrying ability of the specimens, especially the specimens reinforced with carbon nanotubes and the combination of carbon nanotubes and metacolin. To investigate this further, we calculated toughness indices based on the load CMOD curves. The toughness indices uh, determine the ability of the specimens to transfer tensile stresses across tracks, which is an important serviceability criteria. To determine indices, uh, it is a ratio of area under the load deflection curve up to a specified deflection to area up to deflection at which first crack is deemed to have occurred. To find the location of first crack on the load CMOD curve, we draw a straight linear line starting from origin and the point uh, starting from origin but along the initial inner part of the curve. The point after which the curve deviates from the line is the first crack and uh, it also represents the point from where the onset of cracking has started. So uh, the I5, I10, I20 represents the toughness indices values calculated at different crack lengths. I5 corresponds to three times the first crack, I10 is at 5.5 and I20 is calculated at 10.5 times the first crack length. Now, as we can see, with the addition of metacolin, there is a marginal improvement. The, uh, the improvement in I20, I5, I10 is more very moderate. But when we add CNTs, then the improvement is very high. And we get the best toughness indices when we have CNT and metacolin together in the system. One important thing here to note is that uh, a synergistic effect between metacolin and CNT has been observed, which is currently being investigated. For my conclusion, I'll, uh, I'll summarize the whole mechanical results in this graph here. With more, uh, We can see on the y-axis, we have percentage increase with respect to plain motor, and on x-axis, we have the different uh, uh, we have the different properties like modulus of elasticity, flexure strength, toughness, and compressive strength. So incorporating metacolin in cement motor leads to a significant improvement in compressive strength. However, no substantial improvement in fracture related properties were observed. Addition of small amount of carbon nanotubes drastically improved the flexural performance post first crack energy carrying capabilities of the metacolin cement motor. And a synergistic uh, effect has been observed, which is currently being explored. I would like to thank Center for Advanced Construction Materials and ACI for giving me this opportunity to present my research work to you. Thank you.